obviously guys working really hard today. <laughs> it is Labor Day and it's Labor Day weekend here at HSN. We're laboring so you don't have to. I'm at work so we're gonna make your life so much easier. My name is Sarah Anderson and this is an hour of clever solutions. We're gonna kick it off with something brand new, something you've never seen before. Check it out. The Better Sponge is here. You're getting a set of five of these colored sponges. They're not the dirty, they're not the grimy, they're not the really gross stinky sponges of old. These are sponges that are actually so soft and yet super powerful. They're gonna clean your pots and pans. They're gonna even work as a hot pad because it can take the heat. It can open your jars and by the way, it can also do something else. It can remove dog hair. And it's a perfect way to clean all of your makeup brushes. Yes, it does all of this in one. You're getting a set of five. It's brand new this hour. You're the first to see it. Not only getting to five of these super soft, powerful silicone brushed sponges, but you're getting the easiest sponge to clean. It's not gonna be this anymore. So say goodbye to the old and say hello to the new for $19.95. You can also say hello to the brand new and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed Tracy Rosa. Hi, friend. Happy Labor Day. Good to see you. She sleeps oh. in her car all week. That's all right, long. it happens. She's on call. <laughs> She's on. The, she, you're like Johnny on the spot today. Well, you know what? This just arrived. Like mm -hmm. this is this is hot off the press. We wanted you, our Labor Day customers, to be the very first to dive in and see this. So absolutely. Thanks and for coming, I, in, girl. Do, I'm so excited about this, Sarah, because let me tell you, this is a real issue for me. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I'm a housekeeper. I'm, I'm whatever they tell me to be. But at the end of the day, this is reality. So both of these look very clean. But here's the deal: is what you can't see. You know, mm. so to the naked eye, these look like clean sponges, but check this out. Underneath, you can see that there is a lot of dirt, grime, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on right now and show you just no matter how much I clean with this, do you see that? It's oh, it doesn't still, rinse away. Yeah, and that's the thing with the silicone sponges here. Every time you rinse, every time you rinse, you're cleaning with a new sponge. Do you see that? Do you see that in just, it's so melting away. So all now the it's res all the, of the, the same residue. residue was on both sponges. On the same, on both sponges. And then with this. Wow. Yeah. So now this is clean, and then this is not clean. So the last thing you want to do mm -hmm. is take those old school sponges and keep cleaning because you don't know what's in here. So whatever you can, you can never get that sponge clean. No, let's face it's it. It's right? transferring to each and every other plate. So now with the new silicone sponges, you are always cleaning with a clean sponge because it rinses clean. Isn't that awesome? I love these little silicone brushes. Look at how cool they are. It's like it's kind of like doing all the scrubbing action for yes. you. There are three. I, I was joking. I said there are three thousand little fingers doing the dirty work for you. <laughs> In each one of these sponges, there are three thousand little teeny silicones wow. and fingers in there getting the work done for you, getting in there, cleaning it. But here's the deal. It's going to rinse clean. So I don't have, the, you, you know what? These are cash in the trash. How many times have you bought these? How many times have you thrown these mm. out? These things reek. They're oh my God, they get nasty. stinky within about a week. I hate when I walk by the sink, I'm like, <laughs> what? what's that smell? <laughs> the sponge, you know? But it the could thing, be your sponge, It could people. be the sponge. Or we've got these nasty towels that hang mm -hmm. around and collect dirt, dime, grime, whatever. But here's the deal. This is the old school way. And here, I'm going to put a little bit of water on here, a little bit of soap. I'm going to suds it up. You can put a little bit more on, you know, so you can see all the soap in here, right? So now let's rinse it. Let's rinse it and try and get as much of that out of it as I can, okay? Okay. Turn the water This is like up. your traditional this cellular is your sponge, traditional the, ones one, okay? you, uh, the ones that you have to replace yeah. every few weeks, if not every few months. Look at this. Do you see, I mean, I spent a, I tried to get all of the soap out, but you can still see that there's a ton of soap left in there and still more right here, okay? Let's try it with this. I wanna take the other sponge, our new silicone sponges, and let's put a little bit of water on it. Okay. All right, we put a little bit of soap. We'll suds it up. You're still getting that great suds as well. Put a little bit more on. Okay, and we're gonna rinse it. And then here we go. Look it. You actually can clean these. Now you can clean. Now what do you feel more comfortable with? Because it's not with? absorbing all that all that dirt, the grease, exactly. the grime, everything else that's on your kitchen countertop. What if you what if you happen to wipe off the cutting board after cutting raw chicken? 
Exactly. Right? And you're just transferring that all around the house. And that's what I wanted you to think about. This is soap, okay? So I don't worry about cleaning the countertops with soap, but what if this was chicken gunk or, mm. or uh, all the other mm -hmm. stuff that we clean in the kitchen? This stays on my sponge. And now I go to clean a dish yeah. and whatever's left in here now goes on the dish as well, right. you know? So think of that. Think of what's left behind, okay? Again, we can get in here and clean it, okay? Rinse it out and you can still see all of the stuff that's left over, okay? I mean, even if you put these in the dishwasher, you're never getting those sponges we try. clean. And they also break down really easily. They also start to shred. They leave little, you know, residue all over your pots and pans, all over your kitchen counter. Uh, can you do this with your traditional sponges? Can you open spaghetti jars? Can you use these as, you know, pot and pan holders? Could you take things out of the oven? Could you clean your shower? I love that it even picks up pet hair. Yes. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this little orange fabulous item. Uh, let me tell you I was just telling Tracy before the show I have tons of dog hair all over my couch even though you know they know the rules as soon as mommy leaves the house uh, my dog Bobo he just jumps right up there guess what this will actually pull dog hair off your upholstery you've got a chair you've got a couch they love to sit on this this is the bomb look at what you're getting you're getting five of these by the way five for less than $20 uh, look at all these cute little shapes and sizes I'll just walk over here for a minute and show you because all of these are going to work for all your different pots and pans you can use different colors to clean different areas of the home. You've got the red one. You've got the big green one. This can also double. It's like a trivet. It can actually, you know, be a great pot Pace, uh, place to put your pots and pans. Uh, this will work as like a heating pad, another trivet. You've got the big orange one for your pet hair and goodies, and then you've got the beautiful blue clover. All of them have this little hang tag here too, so you can put it on a little nail or hook. They also all have suction cups on the back. So if you actually just want to stick this to the side of, inside of a cupboard or the side of your appliance, like your fridge, they all come in a mesh bag. You're getting five for less than $20. So that's what, $4 a piece? That's crazy. That's like $4 a sponge. And yeah. you're, not re you're not buying sponges over and over again because these are like nearly indestructible because they're made of these little silicone uh, grippers. Absolutely. And again, so I've used this. I'm rinsing it out. I'm washing it. I put soap on it. Let me go ahead and rinse this to show you what's left behind. So we showed you what's left behind from the sponge. This is the same bowl. And then I clean the second half and you can see I'm, it's still clean. There's nothing left behind. I'm always going to clean wow. with a new sponge. And that's mm -hmm. key. This is cash in the trash. You know, we throw okay. those away. We get, you know, we use it. What about this, Sarah? I'm going to come back over here. Okay. 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 Your glasses. <laughs> I'm still having way too much fun with all I the know, Don't they feel fun? <laughs> but your glasses. I mean, the last thing you want to do oh. is take something like this and clean yes. around where we where we put our mouths or anything like that. But again, let's take this. Think, think about this. If you have like babies at home, if you're oh. cleaning like their baby bottles, I mean, think of how mm -hmm. important it is for your home to be as healthy and as clean and as fresh as possible. Let's say hi to Teresa in North Carolina because she did some shopping today. Teresa, welcome to the show. You're live with Sarah and Tracy. What do you think of these brand new better sponges? Oh my goodness, you don't know how much. I am so glad I saw this. I'm so glad I was watching. My daddy insists on using those nasty, disgusting sponges <laughs> that you're showing. And this is like the perfect solution. Yes. I, was so, I was so happy to see that. <laughs> so you, you got two sets, of, one for him and, and one for you? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. And do you like the idea that th this could also like open uh, those jars of spaghetti sauce or, or gravy or whatever it is? Yes, ma'am. That'd be good for my for my mom because she's mm -hmm. got not so good strong hands. So that'd yeah. be good for her. But I mostly just wanted it because it takes the place of those disgusting sponges. Right. It's time to break up with our sponges. Don't you agree, Teresa? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, it's time for a new relationship. <laughs> I love yeah. it. Thank You're you, Teresa. I hope, I hope you love them. I hope your dad loves them as well. Uh, it's a great item to think of somebody else. Sometimes we get kind of, you know, stuck in a rut. Sometimes we think, oh, I love my cloth rags, or I love my dish towels, or I love my sponges. Uh, have you smelled your sponges lately? Have you put them under the blue light that reveals everything, the dirt, the grime, the bacteria, all the germs that build up? Did you know you can never get those sponges clean from the first time you use them? These clean instantly under running water. They also work as pet hair removal. They will also work as a trivet or a pot holder. You can take hot pans in and out of the oven with these. Did you know you can also use these to open all of your jam jars and anything else that's around the house? And you know what? 
half the time, even if you uh, if have uh, you know someone strong and healthy around to help you out with those, they're never there when you need them. Plus, for pots and pans, dishes, they're flexible, they're soft, they're lightweight. Look at that. I, I live on uh -huh. peanut butter, by the way. Okay. So if I can't get my peanut butter open, I am not. Well, how many times have you taken a jar and banged it on the countertop to try and loosen that jar lid? You know, you don't have to worry about that anymore. But here, I want to take an old school okay. sponge. Okay, this is syrup and chocolate and stuff. Okay, yeah. fine. It's getting the job done. Okay, I want to rinse it right here. Okay. And she, first off, these stain as well. The new sponges do not stain. So let's go ahead, give it a good rinse. But again. You still see the amount oh of gosh. stuff that it's is left. To... And we've rinsed this. I haven't added any more soap. We're continuing just <laughs> to get more gunk and grime into this. Again, let's clean it with this. All right, all those 3,000 mm -hmm. little silicone fingers are getting down in there. And then, here we go. You're always going to have that Look clean that. water. And that's what it we're always cleaning with a clean, clean sponge. And, and can you use these on even like your fine china or some of that nonstick surface? You can use this on any surface. And here's the thing. I Ooh, love the fact that you're getting five of these. So you can have one for the kitchen, one for the bathroom, one for the car. Here, I want to show you. I want to talk okay. about like how they're heat resistant as let's, well. Let's do that. And let so, me give you an update. By the way, we only have like 4,000 of these for the entire day. And more than 700 of you have placed your order. So I, I don't know if this is going to happen another presentation a lot of you are getting more than one set which is a great idea uh, remember you can use these anywhere around the house you can use them in the bathroom you can use them in the kitchen garage laundry room they stick anywhere they hang anywhere you're getting five and they're kind of fun and colorful so uh, they are a great gift idea if you do have any labor day chores on your list today cleaning the car cleaning the garage let's make your life so much easier add these i think you're going to be so thrilled you're going to be so glad you're watching hsn this morning so you talked about they are heat resistant yes tracy Look made us <laughs> breakfast. I did. There she comes with a, a, a breakfast casserole, right. right? So here's the, I can take this out of the oven. They're using this as pot holders. And then you have five. So I've got two here. You can use it as a trivet. So it's pr it's protecting that surface right there. It's going to keep it. It's heat resistant. But let's go back to okay. the black light because it's what I don't see that I don't like. These look oh. clean. This looks clean to the naked eye. I would, I would pick this up and clean my dishes with it. But at the end of the day, look what's hiding underneath pretend that this is you know the chicken gunk the chicken juice it's right here as well let's turn the lights down a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give this look I'm giving this a good good rinse I'm trying to get rid of it but that stuff is staying in there here it is right here and check it out do you see how it's just rinsing away it's the silicone that's not absorbing anything it rinses and washes right out so now I have a clean sponge wow I'm going to clean with a clean sponge every <laughs> single time I do my dishes so I'm not transferring mm -hmm. all of the gook the bacteria all the stuff that grows in these nasty things that stink it's time to get rid it's of time. these it's time to break up bye with bye your sponge. bye bye <laughs> It's like a bad boyfriend. Yes, it's exactly. Time, it's time to break up. It's time to move on. Oh, uh, there is a better answer and there is a better solution. And it's the pack of five. They're brand new. You're getting mm -hmm. five for the HSN price. It's all on four flex yeah. pay today for Labor Day. Did I show you how they attach inside That's your sink cool. as well so they can dry out while there's a suction to the sink? So it's not a storage problem, which I'm a huge fan of. And they're so pretty too. Yes. All right. You get a set of five plus the mesh bag. Also, let's tell you what else is happening here behind the scenes. Well, you know what? It's raining and so much of the country right now do you have the better umbrella we turn the umbrella design upside down and inside out in fact look at how it collapses it collapses up so the water doesn't pour on your head it doesn't ruin that great blowout you just got at the salon your blowouts are going to last longer you're going to look better your suede's never going to get those big watery stains and you're going to stay drier it's really easy to get in and out of a car it's a fabulous way to get in and out of the office you will never get wet again thanks to the better umbrella there's more great items online at hsn.com it's always a, a really fabulous day to shop uh, we love to pull out all the stops here at hsn on labor day to make your life easier and we're gonna make your toilet bowl a whole lot cleaner this is like a hurricane for your toilet tank. This is gonna go where you never wanna go. In fact, all you do is open this packet, 
pour and watch those sudsing, powerful, cyclonic foaming action go to work. It's gonna clean your tank. It's gonna clean your bowl. It's gonna clean your jet stream. All you do is open the packet and pour. No scrubbing, no brushes, no sponges, no mess. And it's only $29.95. You get a pack of nine. So it's either nine months of cleaning or <laughs> if you really need to take a hurricane to your tank, uh, you can add an extra packet or two. Let's hang out with Lou Caputo. He's always a hurricane in the studio. So, Lou, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Good to see I thought you were going to say something about the bathroom for a second there. No. But thank goodness. Okay, so <laughs> this is a different way to clean your toilet, okay? Because okay. we're cleaning it from the like inside out, all right? People don't think about this. You don't use this in the bowl of the toilet, okay? And that's the part of the toilet we're used to cleaning is the bowl, okay? Mm -hmm. But where's the water come from that goes in there? Aha. The water from that goes in there mm -hmm. comes from up here in the tank, okay? And this is a dark, damp place. Nothing good happens in a dark, damp place, okay? <laughs> Bacteria, slime, all these nasty things start to develop inside of this, and then it shoots that water down into the bowl of your toilet. So no matter how many times you scrub the bowl, this is just putting all that nasty, dirty water in there. So what you're gonna do is take one of the nine packets of Hurricane that you're getting. You're gonna tear, pour, Nothing more. You walk away, it starts to foam up, and once a month you'll do that and it'll clean your toilet bowl from the inside out. Very different. No, no chlorine in this. Interesting. The main ingredient is citric acid that's in here, okay? And there's no odor to it. And that's one of the things I think that a lot of people can't stand is when they're working in the bathroom and they're using all these chemicals, there's all those smells right. that choke you out. That's not gonna happen with Hurricane. But I mean, think about it. How much money do you spend every month on all the things you normally use to clean your toilet? All the, the sprays mm -hmm. and all the liquids and the brushes and all the different things and how nasty those are because you never clean them, mm. right? I have a confession to make. Uh-oh. Go. I don't think I've even looked in the back of my toilet <laughs> in a long time. Right. A Unless it's don't. not working, I, I actually don't even really think about right. it. That's the thing. I don't, I don't even go there. No <laughs> one does. But think about this for a second. If the water that's in your toilet bowl is coming from that tank, okay, and we yes. all know, okay, that when you flush the toilet, a little bit of that water gets atomized and goes up into the air, okay? You don't want dirty water coming from the tank and get adding to the dirty water that's already in the toilet bowl, okay? Let me show you how this works, okay? okay. Very, very simple. So we're gonna do a little science experiment here. And I always get excited Go when ahead. I do this one because it's so much fun. We've got some of the Hurricane in the cylinder. Now, full disclosure, this cylinder's way smaller than your toilet bowl tank, okay? Average toilet bowl tank is like two and a half to seven gallons, depending on the age. So what I'm gonna do is pour water in here. It's going to bubble over, but that's not gonna happen in your house, okay? There's no way it's gonna overflow in your toilet. Okay. But just for the sake of, I want you to see See how fast this works. Watch this. So here's the Hurricane. Here's just regular tap water. Watch this. I pour it in there and I want you to see the reaction that's going on here, the chemical Whoa. reaction that's happening. See how it's rising to the top of the cylinder here? And it's going to overflow. Now remember, it's not going to happen in your house, but what's really going on in there? Well, look at this. It is a solid column of foam all the way up and down. And what you're seeing is the chemical reaction of millions, millions of tiny little bubbles. They're going to scrub that toilet for you so you don't have to. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Fantastic. And if you have looked in your tank, <laughs> it, it usually can be discolored, right, oh, yeah. Lou? I mean, there's usually like a ring around it. Mm -hmm. Usually there's there's colors either. Is it from the, the residue some of from some the water? Some of it's hard water. Some hard of it's hard water, water. And some of it's just because it could they... could be mold and mildew. Well, it's that whole thing about being dark and damp. Things breed in there. Yeah. They grow. It's like a Petri dish, basically, in the back <laughs> of your toilet. It is. So this is going to get in there, and it's going to eliminate all of that in there. Now, you saw how quick and how easy that was for me to pour it in there and just do that. So yeah. contrast that with what you normally do with your wand, when you get in yes. there and you're scrubbing in there, and then you put this wand back in this sort of dip cup here, which is very strange, <laughs> you know what I mean? And you never dry that out, so that, that's disgusting in its own right. And then you've got like, there's no bleach in ours, so you can, you're done with okay. the bleaches. You don't have to like crawl underneath the bowl and try to look underneath the surface. There's none of this going on. Watch this, we're gonna do it one more time over here. Now this is actually closer to what you're gonna see in your toilet bowl tank, okay? Mm -hmm. Cause this is about two and a half gallons, all right? So I'm gonna pour the Hurricane in here. Remember, our motto is tear, pour, nothing more so I've already torn it open I'm pouring it in and here's the nothing more part where I just stand here and watch it do its magic and you're gonna see wow. as that's going in there and you're right there's like I don't have like any fumes there's, there's no, no like fumes come off it. there's, there's no smell, smells there's no but look what happened with the foam bleach. it started out way down here and it's growing <laughs> oh, wow. and it's coming up to the top 
and it is, it is, it's, and it's it, still going. And it's, a, it's a volcano. <laughs> it's a hurricane. It's a hurricane for the, well, the you know back what's of funny, your tank. This is it in action here. This, this tank is actually much smaller than your toilet bowl tank. This will never overflow in your toilet bowl tank, just this so you exactly know. This is exactly how the science fair went for me, by yeah, the way. Exactly. I made a volcano, and look what happened. Great. But this is what's going on inside the tank now. And I want you to think about this, because no one ever thinks about how, when you're cleaning your toilet bowl tank, how this gets in there and how it cleans it from the inside out. And that's why I say you do it once a month, okay. and you never have to do it. I mean, look at it. the inside of that toilet tank. I mean, if, Isn't you, it disgusting? if you're a homeowner, if you're renting, if you just don't want to know what else has, you know, been in that toilet tank, look at how it also yeah. cleans through the jets. Isn't what, that what amazing? The, well, okay, so what's going the, on is, remember, the, the water inside, that fills, right? that, when you flush the toilet and all that water evacuates from the tank and everything else, okay, the water in those jets is actually what's coming from the tank. So if you're putting clean bowl. water that has Huraclean in it, okay. it's going to keep that bowl clean. It's going to get da cut down on the hard water stains. This product was invented by a fourth generation plumber, a guy named John. Johnny V, really nice guy. And the reason he made it was because he kept coming across toilets that either weren't working, mm -hmm. were working it's subpar, you know, and it had parts inside of them that were getting jammed up by all the slime and all those things. And just by putting the Huraclean in there once a month, it was solving all these problems. Now, if you have a toilet that's like super bad, I mean, if it looks like you live at a gas station, no offense, but if it looks <laughs> that way, okay, you can use three packets okay. of Huraclean, put three packets of Huraclean in there. That is going to shock it, just like you would okay. shock a swimming pool. That's going to shock it, okay, and then you just do the once a month after that. But if your toilet, okay. if you've been normally maintaining it like you should, then once a month, and how easy is that to I do? I mean, and you can do nine treatments for less than $30. Nine months so this, worth. This is for like one nine toilet. months worth it's of amazing. treatment. Unless, of course, you have the gas station toilet, right. then, you, then you better start with the <laughs> shock treatment, as Lou so, so well put. So pick it up today. It's been very popular. I wanted to give you an update. We have, I think it's two thirds sold out. So if you're thinking about it today, today is the last day of our big Labor Day weekend sale. Every Everything's on floor flex pays. Everything's available at our Labor Day weekend prices. And if there are some, you know, tough jobs around the house, we should we should call the show Dirty Jobs because no <laughs> no one wants those dirty sponges around. No one wants That's to clean true. the toilet. Uh, no one wants to clean up the stains and the messes. But you know what? There is an easier way and there's a better way that you're not scrubbing. You're not getting close to the scene of the crime. Right. You know, you're not using your brushes and your sponges. Imagine if you did that once a month. What a difference it could make in your home. No, it, it would be huge. And and for me, I'm not like fat with time, as they say. I don't have a ton of time. So if I can do this once a month and I have to worry every week and look in the toilet and go, oh God, here we go again. I've got to clean it again. You're not going to have to do that. Now, for the folks at home that don't understand where we're putting this, okay? When you're home, you're going to take the top off of the tank and you're going to just dump it in there. Now, it needs six hours to work, okay? Here's what I tell you to do before you go to bed. Just dump it in there, okay? It'll mm -hmm. work overnight. And the funny thing is, I, I guarantee you, get, mark my words, when you pour it into the first time, you are going to stand there and watch <laughs> it because it's exciting to watch the, the chemical reaction happen, okay. to watch this stuff start to come up. But look at all the parts that are in here, okay? See all the flappers and there's chains and valves and there's all kinds of things in here. This is the stuff that also gets all the slime on and starts to work inefficiently when the tank water is dirty, okay? So by putting the Huraclean in there, you're not just cleaning the water you're keeping everything in here clean all, which all means it's going to work better get clean too right yes if there if there's mold if there's mildew if there's residue if there's those hard water stains i mean look your toilet tank could look like new again yeah and if you if you're moving into a new rental hey i want to clean everything before i move in right <laughs> or if if you have a a home that you rent out and you want you yeah. want to make sure that everything is clean for those renters if you're trying to sell a house yes okay you know when they talk That's about staging idea. it Think about maybe doing the toilets too, because I don't know about anybody else. I'm walking around that house. I'm looking at everything, <laughs> including the toilets. Then you can leave the lid off the then, tank and say, you know what? It's so clean. Look in the lid. Look, <laughs> look in look the lid. At my okay, tank. let's do this experiment right, one yes. more time here. Now remember, this is a cylinder that is a much smaller area than what's actually in your toilet tank. The volume is much smaller. So when there's already hard clean in the bottom of this, okay. when I pour the water in, I just want everyone at home to see the reaction that's gonna happen to the toilet. Because sometimes, you know, we're all used to dropping things in our toilet bowls and in the water, and they just sort of sit there. They don't really do anything right. and you wonder like what's going on you can see Huraclean working and for me I need that immediate satisfaction that gratification I want to know that whatever I'm doing is actually doing something okay so when I put that I mean look at this mm -hmm. it just keeps foaming over remember the, that's not going to happen the bubbles are doing everything that you they're need they're working they're the scrubbing 
exactly. powerful cyclonic foaming action that you want. We only have 2,000 left, so I just want to give everyone a, a quick update. 2,000 remaining. Uh, this is not going to be presented again today at the rate that these are going fast. It might be our last presentation of the day. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Lou, let's get all of our toilet tanks cleaned. You might want to buy more than one pack if you've got a rental home, you've got a vacation home. You know, just keep it under the cover. That way it's always there. One packet a month. That's all you need. That's all you need to get started. You're getting nine. So let's see, nine for less than $30. What is that? $3 and change yeah. per piece. Yeah. I mean, isn't it worth it to clean your toilet? from the inside out for $3? And that's the whole thing, is that it's working from the inside out. Now, I'm And then gonna, it cleans the bowl, it, too, And right? it cleans the bowl. Okay. That's what I mean, from it's the inside out. The it tank. cleans the tank and everything but in there, and then, then it, all that water cleans the bowl. Through. So right. do you just, like, let's say you put it in before you go to bed at night, sure. you just wake up and go, just oh, flush the toilet. Flush the when toilet. you wake up in the morning, just like you normally would. Just like you normally would. Nothing okay. to it. And then, but remember, it's still in the tank, so it's still working. That's the important okay, thing. Good. Now, I'm going to tell you something super gross, okay? And I'm sorry, because I know it's, it's early in the morning. It's already been a really gross morning. You know, yeah, I mean, you know, where else could we <laughs> go at this point? dirty sponges to dirty Let's toilets. talk about dirty toothbrushes, okay? And the reason that they're here, you're like, who in the world scrubs their toilets with a toothbrush? No, that's not why they're there. It's there because, remember what I said earlier, when you flush the toilet, the water in the toilet gets atomized and it goes up in the air, okay? Kind of a gross thing. We have a thing in my house, no oh. uncovered toothbrushes, okay? Here's the thing. <laughs> if, you know, we already know that whatever's in that toilet bowl isn't the cleanest thing in the world, okay? But if you're adding to it the bacteria and the slime that's in the toilet bowl tank on top of that, why would you do that to yourself when you could have mm. cleaner water going in there and keeping everything in a now, much more pristine state? This is a very eye-opening presentation. Isn't it? I never even really no thought that it. everything that's in the tank is actually going into the bowl. Yes. And then every time you flush, it's going back out into the air. That's exactly what it does. Yuck. And, I mean, and now you just saw how easy that was to do. In fact, I'm going to show you the back of this package here. All right. And the reason is this. I want to show you how easy this is to do. Okay. You've seen me do it several times, but there's just three steps to it. Step one, tear it open. Step two, pour it in, wait six hours. Step three, nothing. There's nothing there. <laughs> it tells you to walk away, basically. So it's tear, pour, and nothing more. You sleep. And that's what I do is I do it overnight. Okay. Now, we're going to do one more time here. This is that uh, about the size of a small, really small toilet bowl tank, usually around five gallons, right? This is two and a half. If I pour the Hurricane in here all the way across, watch what's going to happen. The way it starts all to right. work right here, and you see the way it's Don't bubbling push, up like, to the brush No, or no brushes, anything. none of that going on here. And this is going to come up to the top of the toilet bowl tank, and it's going to stop because of a phenomenon known as surface tension. So it gets up to the top and it stops when it reaches there. But you can see the bubbles go clear from the top to the bottom. So that's working everywhere all the way through that toilet bowl tank. Watch this animation one more time and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. The way you just take the top off that tank, and it's so simple, if you've never looked in the back of your toilet before, this is gonna be a fun adventure for everybody. Tear it open, pour it inside there, and it's gonna to start to work right away. And remember what I said earlier, if your toilet's super, super bad, then you're, on, you're gonna to wanna to use three packages the very first time to shock it, and you can totally do that, or, if it's not that bad, then you just hit keep of what we were saying. You put one package in every month and it's gonna do the job for you. It's gonna scrub the toilet so you don't have to. Now, Sarah is in the other studio. Oh, with something else I sell, so I'll join her in just a second. Go ahead, Sarah. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Lou. Check out all the fun grills and food ideas that we have on our website at hsn.com. They all have free shipping. So if you're cooking for a crowd, maybe you're getting ready for that big Labor Day picnic and you're missing something, well, maybe you could get set up for your next holiday weekend. We'll take you shopping. It's a perfect time to shop all of our summer clearance items. Great time to pick up some grills. Uh, we even have some great food you can order as well. So I hope you're having a fabulous Labor Day weekend with you, your family, your loved ones, maybe you're thinking about spending the day at the beach or by the shore, great picnic, maybe a fun little cookout. Well, we're going to make sure that when you take the dogs out, the lights go on. This is something that I've been doing for the last uh, 14 years, taking the dogs out. And let me tell you, it's always a lot easier when that light goes on. These are from Everbright, solar powered, motion activated, wireless, outdoor, powerful powerful LED lights for your walkways, for your entryways, for a garage, a shed, an outdoor area, or I call it uh, the heapy creepy plant. There's always, <laughs> there's always like one bush or one tree in your yard that you can't really see behind. You're getting a set of two today and they're gonna be at $10 off our regular price. So now for just $19.95, you're getting two of some of the most powerful motion activated outdoor lights we've ever or, or 
uh, ever offered here at HSN. With a four flex pay on everything, makes it super easy to get home. Less than $5 a month. Lou Caputo, fresh from cleaning toilet tanks That's right. Studio D. That's right. Uh, you're you're going to switch gears. We're going to switch gears. We're going to talk <laughs> about lighting. Well, if you think about it, though, it's DIY. It's definitely a do-it-yourself kind of project here. Mm -hmm. Putting in outdoor lighting by yourself, without an electrician, without any wiring, none of that. These are the Everbright lights. I want you to notice something right away. Look how sleek that is. It is such a sleek profile on this. And the reason is because it uses these SMD LEDs on the front here. Those little yellow dots are actually the LEDs. That, you know, what they're doing now is they're more circuits than they are bulbs. So they're always going to be cool to the touch. They use very little power. They put out a ton of light. You've got a solar panel on the top right there. And then you've got a motion sensor on the front. Well, what makes these different? There is an on-off switch, by the way. I guarantee you, you'll turn it on one time and never touch it again because they are self-regulating. When it gets daylight, they'll turn off. Now, when I turn that on right now, you saw how bright that became. Usually when you turn these on, when it, for, for instance, when it gets dark out and they sense that it's dark, they're going to go into a dim mode, 10% of full power, okay? And they just sit there with this nice little glow that they have until they sense motion. And the minute they sense motion, then they go into the 100% bright mode and I'll show you that in a second on the back of this we ship it to you with this 3m tape on the back here it's super super strong adhesive so you do not even have to drill a hole if you don't want to but if you do want to you can we give you the mounting hardware as well so this is a complete solution to put up two lights with no fuss no must no electrician you do it all by yourself and I love that you can install them easily oh. a lot of those other permanent installations I mean I know you have a sample there Lou of what a lot of us have considered installing you know maybe this. so you can get out to your car in the middle of the night or early in the morning maybe you can so you can have some light that you know shines on your walkway or yeah. your entryway uh I have to, <laughs> to be honest, uh, I, I just moved from uh, my last place in, mm -hmm. in Minneapolis. I mm -hmm. have two of those uh, that two, two stayed, stayed in the box, stayed in the garage <laughs> right you, after what, I bought them. What do you do with them? Because I was either too lazy to install them myself or too cheap to hire somebody. Yeah. Because I... You would have to get it wired. You'd have to get an electrician. It's, it's you'd work. have to pay somebody. It's, that's my least favorite <laughs> word, work. It's work. These, Everbright, not work. And that's why I like these so much more. Now, let's bring the lights down in the studio real okay. quick. I want everybody to just see how much light these put out. Because as Sarah and I stand here, what you're going to notice is as soon as it gets, see what happened? As wow. soon as it gets dark, they come on. And as I wave my hand over them, you're going to see them go into what we call, <laughs> we call bright go. mode. <laughs> see the two in front of me here? These guys right there, oh, so they caught me moving. The one is in dim mode. The one actually saw some motion, somebody behind the camera. Watch this, I'm gonna move my hand up here and you're gonna see the other one come on. So they go into this dim mode after about 20 or 30 seconds without motion, they will go into the dim mode and then they'll come on in full power when they sense motion. And they'll stay on as long as there's movement or for 20 or 30 seconds. That is one of the coolest features of these and that's actually why the Everbright lights mm. can last so long. Look at you. So bright. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, it's a tremendous amount of light. Now, <laughs> just so folks uh, at home understand this, our TV cameras have huge lenses on them. They take a lot of light to see an image, okay? So you, even though at home you're looking at it, it's going like, oh, they look okay. No, in the studio, these are crazy, crazy bright. They're, they're kind of blinding. They're kind of blinding. No, they really are. So imagine this, and here's the nice thing. Because there's no wiring, you can put these on a fence post. You could put these on a wall. You can put them above your front door, your back door. You put. I like mine by my garbage cans because we have raccoons. So oh, I like to put them out there. Oh, yeah, it idea. scares them. It scares them every yeah. time. Or like you, I have two dogs. When I let the dogs mm -hmm. out at night, Night, it's lovely when they start wandering around the backyard, even though it's fenced in. I have lights placed around out there, so as they move around the yard, can, the lights are going to come on, so right. I know exactly where they are, okay? Because they don't want to just go out there and do their business. They want to go out there and just walk around. So, <laughs> you know, it's easier that way. But you know what? I know we've all seen solutions that use batteries, okay? Mm -hmm. And, you know, that, that's fine, but I don't want to get up on a ladder and have to replace my bulbs, you know, the batteries oh, all yeah. the time. And, you know, I like the fact that I can put these in weird places. Like, for instance, you can mount these on a tree if you wanted to. You've got a big piece of property and, and like paths. You can put these on trees. You can put them on fence posts. Put them on your dock. You know, we had one person who called oh, in. that's a great idea. The dock is awesome because it's a real pain and it's a lot of money to get an electrician out yeah. there to wire lights out oh, there. Like maybe by a pool yeah. or a hot Inside tub. your pool cage or your hot tub. We had, a, we had one person call that has an RV and mm -hmm. they put them on the outside of the RV so that during the daytime they would charge up and then at night they come on around the outside yeah. while they're out there so you know, barbecuing the indoors. Or, yeah. 
Cool, and I love that you're getting a set of two today. So that's how you order. One order, you get a set of two. You get our best price, it's $10 off. You get the four flex pay, so you can space out your payments over the next four months. And then literally, all you do is peel and stick and adhere, and you can put them like Blue said, on a fence post, Anywhere. on the side of your house. Yeah. All you need is sun, right? All yeah. you need is... You just need to put them someplace where, where they're they, gonna get sunlight. They're gonna get sunlight. Yeah, they're gonna, and you know, honestly, even like um, if it rains a couple days in a row, these are still gonna work because they go into that 10% dim mode. Okay. So they're conserving power until they're needed, and that they need to come on full power. They conserve power. Now, the mm -hmm. one question, the biggest question I get asked is, you know, can I, you know, are they durable for, uh, you know, rain and snow and stuff like that? Well, I'll sit here and just pour this for the entire rest of the show and you're going to see that these are good for rain. They're good oh, for wow. snow. They're water resistant. They're weather resistant is what we call them. So if you love north where you get tons of snow or down here in Florida where you know it, we just get rainstorm after rainstorm after rainstorm it seems sometimes in the summer, you're not going to have to worry about having these outdoors. But you know what? The one thing I really want to show is that dim mode because I haven't done that. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to walk over there where we have a, um, a wall set up and a door. We're gonna leave the lights up though while I do it, and here's why. Because when I get over here, here I go, I'm okay. fading away. As I get over here, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna, uh oh, okay, they brought the lights down before I was in place. All right, that's okay though. Watch what's gonna happen now. The lights are in dim mode. The minute I start to move, they're gonna come on in full bright. No, they're already in full bright. Okay, if I go back here, and I stand here, and nobody move, in 20 seconds, these lights should go into dim mode, okay? And when they do, then I'm going to be able to walk in front of them and they're going to uh, uh, reset. There we go. They're starting to turn off. See that? Oh, yeah. See what I mean? So that's the dim mode that I was talking about, that 10% of full power. But the minute I walk out here, see how they all start coming on in full power? That's what they do, and that's how they that's conserve power. Impressive. It's it's different. You I know mean, what I mean? Yeah, because I love that you have two modes. I love that they're easy to install. Yes. They're solar powered. They just use the power of the sun. You never replace batteries. I mean, even if you have a traditional light bulb on your front porch, how many times do you mean to change the light bulb and you never get around to it? Because you a have to lot. go out there and unscrew the thing, and you have to find the right bulb, and you have to put it back. No installation, no wires, no contractor, no electricity to figure out how to wire anything. Let's find out why Maddie picked these up today. Maddie's calling from, I believe, it's at Alabama. Hi, Maddie. You're live with yes. Sarah and Lou. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. So I heard you, you've already picked these up and you've already been using them? I have. Um, I picked them up about six months ago. Okay. And um, the thing that I really liked the best, I needed more light around my front. Right. Mm -hmm. And so now this gives me more light. As soon as I walk up, you know, it, like you said, it just lights up and it gives me lots of light so I can see. Beautiful. Good. And were they were they easy to install for you, Maddie? Oh, I did, all I did was peel off that little sticker and put them up there. <laughs> <laughs> so good. You and could... my son, um, I actually ordered them this time for my son because when he came over, he asked, what are those? And I told him, he says, well, can you order some for me? So he's out on his own now, so I ordered some for him. Oh, that's nice. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's very nice of you. Yeah. Do you feel a lot more secure yeah. with, with the lights on? You can just see where you're going. You're, you're probably less yeah. likely to, to trip or fall or... Oh, yeah, it makes a big difference. Yeah. Because, yeah. Like I said, now during this time when it starts to get dark at light, maybe five when time changes, this really going to be a big help to me coming home from work. Right. Yeah, I'll be able to see where you're yeah. going. I'm so glad you got a second yeah. set. I hope, you, I hope your son loves them as much as you do. Thank you, Maddie. Have a great Labor Day. Uh, thanks for chiming in. We love hearing from you, so keep those testimonials coming. See, but th that to me means the world. When I hear from somebody yeah. who says how easy it was to install these and what a big difference it makes. I mean, think mm -hmm. about this. Do you have anybody in your life like a grandparent aunt uncle or somebody like that who you know could probably use a little extra light either by their stairs or their front door their garage door somewhere like that and how easy it would be for them just to peel that backing off and I'll show you that again they all come with that 3m adhesive on the back here. and this stuff is crazy sticky like you can put this on anything and it's gonna stay there until you want to take it down so you don't need to worry about that and it's weather resistant you just put these up there they go into that dim mode they know when it gets dark they know when it gets light they turn themselves off 
and on. It's like I always tell people, mm -hmm. yeah, there's an on-off switch on the bottom. You're going to turn them on one time when you first install them, and you will never touch that again. Wow. Because once they're on, they self-regulate. But let's talk about the unconventional places you can install these. For instance, we've got a great example right here on the tabletop. This is a railing, okay? So a railing on your porch, on a deck. Yeah. You know, maybe it could be going down a staircase. Mm -hmm. You can just stick these right to the railing, and you've got instant light right there so that people can see where idea. the edge of the railing is. Maybe there's a staircase there, mm -hmm. all these things. You, you know, one of the biggest advantages to me of that 10% dim lighting is that when people are walking, let's say you've got a staircase on your property or maybe a deck or something, all right? That 10% lighting lets them know where they need to be heading. Uh -huh. Before they get there, before the lights actually come uh -huh. on full power, they can kind of see, all right, I've got to go over that direction. And as they get closer, about 20 feet away or so, these lights are going to come on in full. Motion and it's activated. Like, hey, there's everything. They're motion activated. I love that. You never have yeah. to go, is it on? Is it off? I mean, even, right. even when I did have a nice big floodlight, you know, on my back porch, I was thinking, gosh, is it, is it on? Is it off? Is it on auto? You know, how is this working? And well, why is it not turning on when I come home at night? You never have to worry about these. Because once you set them up, they're ready to go. Whether you have a back porch, you have staircases. I love the idea that you could sort of follow your footsteps. So think about getting more than two today. If you if you want to go ahead and pick up a set, you'll get two. That's less than ten dollars a pop. I mean, ten dollars uh, a small price to pay to keep from falling on your face if you've got some tricky stairs. I used to have a pair of a uh, set of stairs in my back porch area, and my mom and dad used to always complain the stairs are uneven, or one is long and one is short. And you should put some lights there. Or you should put some glow in the dark tape. And my husband and I were like, I don't know if we want to put glow-in-the-dark tape on our back porch, but this would have come in handy. And I love the idea that you'll have the dim light, you'll have the bright light, it's motion activated. Whether you just want to, you know, keep an eye on the, the animals outside by your garage, by your by your trash can, or you want to be able to see the dog while they're in the dog run, uh, you want to know where you need to go later, <laughs> this is the perfect solution. I love it for the garage. It's getting rave reviews, by the way. So uh, 180,000 of you have already placed your order. Today for Labor Day, uh, we don't have nearly as many. We only have a few thousand to go around. Uh, so many of you are taking advantage. So place that order. I think you're going to be thrilled. You're going to be like, why didn't I do this earlier? I think that's your only regret you're going to have, Lou, is that they didn't do this sooner because once you yeah. have light, it makes such a huge difference coming and going in the dark. Well, no, it does. And watch this again. I'm going to do this demonstration with that 10% lighting. Okay, so we're going to bring the lights down and watch what's going to happen. Okay, I'm just going to stay in here. Everybody be really still. So the lights are gonna go into that 10% brightness mode until I move. And the minute that I move, uh -huh. see how they all popped onto 100%? And by the way, these two right here are actually mounted on a staircase, okay? So to me, standing here in the studio, this staircase is fully illuminated by these two lights. Actually, one of them could have done the job, okay? Mm -hmm. But it's fully illuminated, and that's one of those situations where how else would I put it up there? Now, notice the lights are starting to go back into dim mode as I stand still. The ones on the wall right above the, uh, the pricing and everything did. But if I move forward, Watch this. And they all start to come on again. There's that 100% bright light. See what I mean? So now, it's really I have a neat to say, feature. It's kind of hard to see on, on camera. Right. But the the area of light is at least, what, 12 to 15? Feet away from the, 15 from the lights. 15 away yeah. from the source. It's, so it's so much you don't more have to when you be see them right in person. under it. Yeah. Uh, no, you don't. You know what? I, I was reading some of those reviews, Lou. Yes. And some of them said... Even a medium spider on a web activated that oh, yeah. ever bright light right outside their kitchen. They could see the spider. Some of you said you've been using these for years. Two years later, Sensitive. they're still as oh, yeah. bright as the day you bought them. Yeah, it's amazing. They show no wear whatsoever. It's incredible. All right, Lou, you're going to be a busy guy today. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, don't go anywhere. He's cleaned your toilets. He's lit up your pathways, and he'll be right back. But hmm. first, a quick spotlight <laughs> with Brett. What will he do next? We're connecting you to your best life. Join me, Brett Chuckerman, for Connected Life, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Our products help you relax, eat better, and feel empowered. Get ready for comfort and relaxation with a lounge doctor. Debbie Meyer's Genius Vac Countertop Vacuum Food Sealer helps prevent freezer burn to save money and skip the drive and take a ride on the Brookstone Electric Scooter. Join us Wednesday at 7 p.m. How you doing, HSN? Hosting a TV show is the best thing ever. And what I did not realize is that my clothing would become a co-star. Women wait for those doors to open and they look to see what I'm wearing. 
my line is for all women, whether you're a size two or a size 22. Clothing should not be really expensive and it should not be that complicated. <laughs> I'd worked for many, many years for one of the biggest beauty giants, and I really felt like the beauty industry had shut out women who were over 50. We decided to create a brand with passion behind it. Pride Beauty is absolutely cruelty-free. We have leaping bunny status. We give a dollar to animals out of every purchase. We have the very best from nature, cutting-edge ingredients, the best science. We're about real women, real results, real fast. It's HSN's biggest and best Labor Day sale ever. Enjoy nine days of special pricing on some of your favorite brands like Curtis Stone, Minnetonka, and Origami. And don't miss these exclusive offers. Free shipping on fashion and accessories when you spend $99 or more. Plus, get an additional 50% off hundreds of items on HSN.com. Get great deals all week long with special buys every day. HSN's Labor Day sale ends tomorrow only on HSN. I don't think it's Labor Day weekend until someone <laughs> inflates all of the pool toys. Exactly. And uh, you're not going to do this by hand, no, right? No, until someone's you're, dizzy from inflating all the pool toys. Until someone hyperventilates, right? right. Uh, well, maybe you're inflating pool toys this weekend. <laughs> maybe you're going to play a little soccer or a beach volleyball with the kids. Maybe you just want to make sure that wherever you go, you're never going to get a flat tire ever again. Introducing the Airhawk Pro cordless air compressor. It's powerful. It's handheld. It's cordless. It's rechargeable. And it inflates nearly everything. We're going to give you all the accessories you need today, $10 off. Off. Free shipping for the first time ever for mm -hmm. our big Labor Day weekend sale. And we also have those four flex pays. Get it home for less than $12.50. Uh, how many of these have we sold just recently? Yeah, 26,500. Uh, that's 26,000 of you that will never be caught that's with right. a flat tire ever again. Because this is something you can put in your car or take it oh, with you. anywhere you want. Well, that's a big deal about this. It's cordless, okay? So it has a rechargeable battery. You don't have to have it plugged in all the time. Now, here's the thing you need to understand. I know this is tough to, to wrap your head around, but this is a real compressor, okay? Like. We have air mattresses, everyone has them. They come mm -hmm. with those little fans that blow yeah. air into them. This is not an inflator like that. This okay. is an actual compressor. There's a piston inside of this so that when it starts running, you're going to hear that sound. It's a little louder, okay? But it's mm -hmm. because it's actually putting the air under pressure. Now, look at what we're getting here, okay? When you buy this right now, yep. you're gonna receive the Airhawk itself, okay? It has that rechargeable battery on the bottom of it right here. That is a rechargeable battery in the bottom right there. We give you another piece that looks like the battery, but it's not, it's actually an Adapter. So if you do run out of power for some reason, you plug that into the power port of your vehicle. You get a carrying cool. case. Of course, you get the charger for that rechargeable battery. And you get the pins that you need to use, mm -hmm. the um, the inflator tip, and you also get the needle tip on there. So you can put this and use it on a variety of different things. Now, quick walk around on this, okay, before I go inflate the tire in this bicycle, all right? On the back here is a built-in digital pressure gauge. That's a big deal. When I press the power button, that's going to light up blue, so it's backlit, and it has plus and minus buttons so that I can put in exactly the pressure that I want it to fill to, and it stops when it gets to that pressure. Ah. You have a flashlight on the front right there, a little LED light so you can see what you're doing. All your accessories stow on board there and on the top right here, and then you just pull this trigger and it starts pumping air. Wow. Couldn't be any easier, okay? I love that. Now, so you actually can never overinflate. No, no, it won't let you. If, as <laughs> long as you tell it. I've done that with the bike yeah, tire. No, as long as you tell it what the <laughs> pressure is you want, it won't overinflate. So there's a bicycle sitting in front of the table. I'm gonna walk around, right. I'm gonna blow up the tire in this because the weird thing is somehow bike tires always seem to know when they're underinflated. Okay, so here I am, I'm here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so right here is the bike tire. When I come down here, look at that. That is just dead flat, okay? Yeah. Now, let's say you got a family of four. That's eight tires, okay? I'm not going to sit and there on my hands and knees that whole time and pump up that tire. What I'm going to do is I've already put into the air hawk what the pressure is that I want this to inflate to. Watch what happens. I'm going to squeeze the trigger. 
and it's just going to start filling that tire without me having to do anything. Now, nice. we can go walk away. We can make lunch. Put our helmet on. Put our helmets on. We could pack the car. We could sit down for a little bit and relax. We don't have to do anything. When it reaches the pressure that I've already told... Done. That's the pressure done. I told it to. I think it was like 15 or 20 pounds, but it got to that in just seconds. Filled that tire, we're done. Now we can move on to the next tire. It's that simple to do. I love how easy it is. And also with the popularity, these are not going to last very long. In fact, what, right. uh, we're halfway through and uh, we've only we've only just started our final day of the Labor Day weekend extravaganza. If you've ever had a flat tire on your car, on your bike, on a truck, it could be on an ATV, it could be on a motorcycle or a moped. Yeah, flat tires are no fun. You're not getting where you need to go. You're stuck by the side of the road. You might be asking for help or trying to find a gas station that even has as a functioning, you know, air compressor. This is the best way to make sure whether it's a pool toy or whether you're like the soccer mom, you know, can, can you go to the game and inflate all of those toys Well, this is a, this is a good point. Now, Here, now you can. Here's the thing. A lot of us out there, if you're a soccer mom or dad or you got kids that play volleyball and you go to practice mm -hmm. and you got those big mesh bags full of like 20 different balls <laughs> right. and they're always underinflated. What? Now this ball, clearly this is not ready for gameplay, okay? But I'm going to stick in the, the uh, uh, needle adapter that you get with this and that stows on board. I'm going to turn on the air hawk. Watch how quickly we fill that one ball. And I'm just going to sit here and feel it until it gets to the pressure I like. And that's it right there. It was done that quickly. So think about when you're going to those practices, you've got all those balls, mm -hmm. how quickly you can do that. Basketballs, footballs, all the things that the kids love to play with, or maybe you do too. And in just seconds, it's at that proper inflation. And the weird thing is, I know everybody's tried all kinds of different, you know, inflators, but this is just the easiest way. Now, here's my nightmare scenario, okay? I go to the uh -oh. beach. Lose go, nightmare. Ni lose nightmare. Dun, dun, lose nightmare dun. is this. We go to the beach. We should play I got my niece and nephew music. with me. We're sitting down by the water. They grab a pool toy like this, and they go, Uncle Lou, can you blow this up for me? And I'm like, sure, no problem. And I sit there for the next 25 minutes, <laughs> getting dizzy while I could be sitting there they're having a beverage, talking to my sister, and doing whatever fun things I want to do. Watch this. I'm going to inflate this thing. And sometimes they're deceptive. Like, I looked at this thing, and I thought the first time I saw it, oh, it's just a little, like, a ring for the kids. Yeah, no problem. No. But it's three-dimensional. Watch what's going to happen here. This thing is going to grow. And I want you to think about how long it would take you to blow this up if you had to. And it's done. Now, I didn't have to walk back 100 yards across burning hot Sahara sand to get to my car and get out the inflator that's right. in the back of it. I bring the air hawk with me down to the water's edge. We had a great phone call yesterday from a guy who's a boater, and he likes to have all the inflatables on yeah, the boat and the tow right. behinds and all that yeah. stuff. Y you don't want to be driving on the boat with all those things inflated because they just you know, fly <laughs> off the boat. They get, there's no room. That, that would be a driving hazard. Bring the air hawk with you. Fill them yes. up when you get to where you're going to go. Because these are so much easier to store when they're, so store when they're packed flat. So yes. I agree. And plus, it's the end of the season. You might be packing things away. Get ready for next year, right. and you'll be the life of the party. Don't go anywhere without it. 3,000 gone, and we have about 3,000 left. Left. Let's say hi to Dorina. Oh, cool. She's from Indiana. Dorina, you're live on HSN with Sarah and Lou the Inflator. How are you? I'm fine. How about yourself? Doing great. Fantastic. Did, did you pick up one of these today? Well, actually, we've had it for about three or four months now. Oh, good. And, you know, I've seen the presentation. I showed it to my husband. And some of the things I'm like, oh, yeah, right. That's probably not going to be possible. But um, the first thing I had to use it on was a bike tire because mm -hmm. we were having a rummage sale and it blew up the tire just perfectly. Mm -hmm. And then last weekend, actually, I was telling the representative, my husband said the tire on his truck was going a little flat. And I'm like, there's no way that's going to work. And it sure did. And I'm like, <laughs> I think he thinks it's the best thing since sliced bread, seriously. <laughs> I love it. I love to hear that. So, yeah, it works for everything. And another thing that when you're blowing up the pool toys, yeah. you don't mention, and it's important because sometimes grandmas and grandpas have the pool toys for the kids, but people with dentures cannot blow up those pool toys. Oh, I, I never thought I of that. I didn't think of that. So, I mean, it's a good tip because I know a lot of grandparents do have the pool toys wow. for their grandkids, but yeah, yeah, you can't blow those things up when you have dentures, so it's real handy for people who have dentures too. <laughs> Oh, Dorina, that's, that's a know. great, great point. I'm so glad you're happy. I'm so glad uh, your husband does not have a flat tire because that's no fun. I'm so glad you gave us a few moments of your time today. We love yeah, hearing you. from you. You have Honestly, a fabulous... I think that it would be a good idea yeah. for everybody to have one, not only in their house, but mm -hmm. in their vehicles as well. Oh, yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Because when my husband goes to work, it is here at the house with me. So it's uh -huh. important that it be 
in the truck as well. Sounds yeah. like you need another one. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> thanks, Thank Serena. You. you have a wonderful Labor Day weekend with Thank you and you. your husband. Uh, thanks for the call. Uh, well, you know what? I've actually had to drive around on, you know, maybe you just have a slow leaking tire. With a little light on. And you try to drive from, like, gas station to gas station. You know, yeah. you, you, you know you're just trying to get home. You don't want to have to stop and right. re replace the whole tire. Uh, th that'll get you through in a pinch. Well, and who carries change anymore? For when you get to the gas station, That's true. and it's like a dollar seventy-five, two dollars to right. pump air. P.S. Air's free, just so you know. So if you have the <laughs> Airhawk, once you buy it, you're not paying for the air anymore. All right, my second nightmare scenario. Uh oh, done, done. Let's uh, go to the front over here. Okay. Okay. So let's say you're working in the yard and you got a big old metal wheelbarrow like mm -hmm. this, okay? And when you, before it has any weight in it, it looks like the tire's inflated. Then you go and you throw in about 80 pounds of river rock, which is what we got in here right now, okay? And the tire goes flat. Now, am I gonna empty out the wheelbarrow, take it and put it in the back of my truck, drive to the gas station, pay $2 to fill it, bring it back home, take it out, uh, put the rods back like in? A, it's a lot of work, right? That sounds like my a, least a favorite nightmare. Word. My, it's a nightmare. <laughs> okay, watch what I'm gonna do now. And this is really <laughs> impressive. I preset the pressure that I want in the air hawk, okay? This tire is clearly flat. I mean, it's beyond flat. This thing is just spongy, okay? I'm gonna squeeze the trigger on the air hawk. Now, it's gonna start filling that tire all by itself, but it's not just lifting the tire. Look how fast it's going. It's not just lifting the tire. It's lifting the metal wheelbarrow. Mm -hmm. It's lifting up 80 pounds of river rock. 80 pounds? Yeah, so you can't oh, even lift it up. I can't even lift it up. <laughs> and in just a couple of seconds, <laughs> it's going to stop pumping because it has reached the preset pressure that I put in there. And that quickly, it's oh. gonna be done. And that's the nice thing about this. And again, I'm not on my hands and knees. I'm not there, oh boy. Well, you know what? You went when for I... the old fashioned pump. <laughs> Cause this is how you're, you're probably blowing up your, your bike tires right now. Well, I want, I want everybody to hear this because this is what's fun. All right. Okay, so over, this is, over half sold out. This is an old fashioned bicycle pump. Listen to this. <laughs> Doesn't it just sound? Isn't it just sad the way that sounds? <laughs> so you know you're not getting a ton of pressure out of this, okay, compared to the Airhawk. This is not what you want to use. Now, it's funny because people like will try these. Yes. Um, you're not gonna fill up a truck tire with that, I'll tell you that right now. They carry these things. A lot of people no. carry these in the back of the car, and this is fine. This works okay. really well if you have a flat with a hole in it, because this is actually made to fill the hole. There's stuff in here that you don't want to put in your tire if it's not really okay. uh, a flat with a hole in it. So that's not a good candidate. Now, and I you have to have, replace that. Well, and you gotta replace them. And I used to have a, a compressor like this, and these do work, but the problem is you've got to plug it into the power port on your car. You have to. It doesn't work on batteries like the Airhawk. So that means I'm not taking this the 100 yards down to the mm -hmm. shore with me by the beach. These are portable. These totally are totally portable. Uh, th all they, they're chargeable, so you yeah. can take it with you anywhere. I was laughing because the last time I pumped up my bike tire, you yes. know, I, I'm trying to look at that little dial, and you know, I, and then I try to read the tire, so it's like 45 Here. or 60 psi. Can you read that? Um, no. Can you know? <laughs> and, and here's the thing. So, so then I was pumping and like trying to look at the dial. No, I'm not there yet. And oh, I don't want to overinflate. I love that you can preset it. Yes. And then you can literally set it down, walk away. Well, you walk away. And then just let it do its job. And let let it fill here's, the tire here's to the big its deal. perfect optimal amount. See, this is a tire gauge, okay? And typically when you use these, you put it on the tire and this little part pops out and then you've got to read this. As the years are going by, I have less chance of reading this than anything. I, I just, <laughs> it, could, it, it could work perfectly. I, actually, I, wouldn't, I couldn't tell you. All right, so I can't read this. Here's the problem. Yeah. If you go to a gas station, you don't have one of these, they almost never have a tire gauge that actually works. So you're just totally guessing. What are you gonna do, squeeze the tire on your car or truck to see if it's full? You can't do that. So what do you do when that little light comes on mm -hmm. inside your vehicle? Come on over to the Jeep. I'm gonna show you something. Okay. Okay. Because all right. this is something that's happened. I've used this thing, I don't know, five or six times this week on all my different vehicles because the little light keeps coming on, especially, when, um, I know I've got a slow leak in the back tire of my truck. But on the Jeep right here, I know this tire's about five pounds down, okay? Because uh, we let the air out of it just so we could do this, um, this demonstration, but that's the point, is that most of the time when that little light comes on in your car, Sarah, it's because it's only about five pounds down. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna walk away, I'm gonna leave that there. Okay. Now, you're gonna hear it stop in just a few seconds. But think about this, if you're just checking all the tires in your car, maybe you go out to your car and that light's on, rather than waste the time to drive mm -hmm. to a gas station, hope that you have change, hope that they have a pressure gauge right. that works at the pump, right? You can do this at home before you ever hit the road. Now, why do you not wanna drive with that little light on your tire, okay? The reason, it's very simple, is this. When you got that little light on the tire, when it comes on, you're wasting more fuel, you are getting worse mileage, you're putting more wear and tear on the tires themselves, you're wearing them out faster. And then on top of that, 
um, you're also, it's not as safe to drive. The car's not gonna handle the same way. So those three things right there are reason enough to make sure that you've always got enough air in your car tires. But let's look back one more time at everything that we're gonna be getting here, because you can see how easy this is to work. The fact that this is cordless, that it's a real compressor, it's not an inflator, and you're getting an entire kit when you buy the Airhawk. I mean, you're getting everything you need to use this cordlessly, but we're also giving you a cord with it just for those rare times where maybe you just run through the battery because you've been away from home for days. You run through the battery. You're getting that corded piece with this as well. So here's everything you're getting right now when you buy this. You're getting the Airhawk itself. You can see there's that lithium ion battery that charges in the bottom of this and it just snaps right into place. You're getting the adapter here that looks like the battery, but it's not because it's got an 11 and a half foot cord on it that plugs into the power port of your vehicle should you ever run that battery completely flat. Then over here, you've got your two adapters needles right here. You've got the needle adapter here. You've got the inflator tip on there. And it all comes in a carrying case. And I haven't showed you this yet, but I've got one here in my hands. And this guy right here is the complete package. This is everything that you're gonna carry with you. So think about where you could put this in your car, in, in the trunk, you know, um, in the back seat, you know, wherever you wanna keep this, under a seat. I mean, it's very, very small, but when you need it, it's gonna work, okay? One more time, I'm gonna show you how quickly and easily you can fill up a volleyball. Watch this, I'm gonna take this one tip off. We're gonna put the other tip on, just like this. And everything screws into place, by the way, because this is a real inflator. It uses, uh, not an inflator, it's a real compressor. So it uses real pressure. Stick that in there, turn it on, hit the button, and watch how quickly. Look at that. So imagine doing an entire ball, uh, entire bag full of volleyballs, soccer balls, or any of that sort of thing. It's going to make it very, very simple to do. So Sarah is back inside enjoying.